as the sun sets, right behind me is Iraq. I'm on Kuwaiti soil, and we've all seen in the news uh, the last couple of days the end of the Iraqi war. Uh, it has been a long nine years, and I cannot say this enough. I say this with passion. I say this with excitement. I say this with great emotion. I've uh, seen the Army National Guard, Army Reserve, our local Marines uh, play their role uh, in uh, the war in Iraq. I'm visiting during Christmas the 230th Sustainment Brigade, and I've met so many men and women who've made a huge impact on getting equipment and working on logistics of, of bringing this war to an end. We've literally, this is this is right at the border, just a stone's throw. In fact, I can't even go through these gates here. Um, that's Iraq. This is Kuwait, and, and I've seen our men and women of the 230th Army National Guard, the guys located off of Old Skull Avenue in Chattanooga, Tennessee, doing such a great job with these convoys, getting the equipment out of this country, the country of Iraq, and bringing it across the border in Kuwait. You know, as, as the sun sets, the military, the federal government, they're calling it um, Operation New Dawn. It's a new day in Iraq, thanks to the wonderful men and women of the armed forces in our great state of Tennessee. At K Crossing, at the border of Iraq and Kuwait, I'm James Howard, WDEF News 12.